and welcome to all the men and women of the West. I'm Joe. Today I'm doing a reaction video. I've not seen this video yet. Um, I saw it in the forums. Uh, and I was not originally going to do this video, but I figured why not. It'll give me time to edit the next House of the Dragon or Fire and Blood uh, chapter video that I've got in store for you guys of the Dornish Wars. But I figured people would probably prefer me to do this. So here we go. Uh, just to warn you, I am not the biggest fan of Game of Thrones or House of the Dragons. I enjoyed the first season of Game of Thrones. Uh, the later ones, eh. And if there's any sounds, it's the dog moving. He's in the room. We're going to get his first reaction to this as well. So here we go. Uh, let's go. I hope I got the sound right. What is this? Brief history does not remember blood. It remembers names. All right. So that's a video. What did I think of? What did I think of it? Um, honestly, it was kind of what I'd expect. Um, now, I already knew um, that they were going with the guy from the crown for Daemon Targaryen. He's not who I would have chosen. Um, for one thing, he doesn't it's not how I had imagined the character when I heard about the character. And I've watched a few GOT videos over the years, so I've got a good idea of what the character's like, and I know I'm going to be reading him down the road. He's a rogue. He became king of the Stepstones, I think it is, and returned north to marry his niece, ew, and uh, proceeded to prove himself a quite the... Uh, homicidal rogue over the next few years and had a moment of redemption and when he kamikaze his nephew Aemond one eye now like i said this isn't my idea of what the character would be like um i don't think he's really the actor for this role I don't know who I'd cast, um, but uh, as to the other actors, I'm not familiar with almost any of them, so I can't re well, I'm not familiar with them either, so I can't really vouch one way or the other. Maybe I'd probably cast a guy from Black Sails who played uh, John Silver for Damon Targaryen. I don't know the guy's name, but I could see him playing it, uh, the role, I mean. He'd do a good job. Either him or the actor who played uh, Stephen in Pillars of the Earth. He strikes me as being particularly built for this kind of role. Although Stephen had, um, was a very different animal, so to speak, to portray. I don't fully agree with the portrayal they went with in Pillars of the Earth, but it was still a good fascinating character they built there. Um, very tragic. But anyways, um, I'm not going to rate this because um, I usually reserve that for our reviews, with, which I share with Dan. Um, honestly, if you enjoyed it, you enjoyed it. Um, I don't know what to make of it. Now, I got a good idea of the story. And um, I'm not sure about the little ending quote. It's the usual grim dark thing. But um, tell me what you guys think. Do you guys enjoy this? Um, honestly, it is, I will admit, a lot better than the Rings of Power teaser trailer. I'm more a Tolkien fan, but I'm, I honestly prefer this infinitely more than the other one. 
this one at least gives you a bit of an idea of the plot. But anyways, I'm going to shut up now and plug the channel. <laughs> Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to smash that like button, share the video, please do, and, well, get your own Valerian or Tad Cooper to breathe and rain down fire upon the subscribe button, as it really helps the channel when you interact with it and you subscribe and you like it, because we're trying to grow the channel. And once we reach a thousand, we could live stream with the big guys. So, and the big ladies, to be fair. So, until then, next time, take care. And the next Game of Thrones video will be about the second chapter of Fire and Blood.